Phil, match play time. Yeah. Lots of memories. Loads, loads of match play. I love it. Love the match play. Claiming his ninth world match play time. A fanfare finish. And he's done it! Oh, and he's found another ball there. It means so, so much to him. I think that my biggest memory would have been winning the nine dart to the first one. Got to get the treble 20 with the first dart. Yes, he's got it. Treble 19. Double 12 for history! History! He's done it! He's done it! He's done it! Because the trophy was so big, I've never seen anything like it before, but crystal dart for it. And that's what I was after. Plus the hundred grand as well was a bonus, obviously. But there was one shot of me walking on stage, and it's got the the picture of me back and the the arena itself, and that says everything about the world match play. It's awesome. All right, I've got a few ridiculous stats for you. Have you? So the ten highest one match averages. Yeah. At the world match play, you still hold eight of them. Do I? And you hold the top four. All oh, right. So, Michael this... Van Gerwen. Let's see and if you... Price. <laughs> <laughs> you averaged 114.99. So, let's say 115. That's not bad. Over 16 legs of darts. And there would have been some stray darts there. That's, that's the daft thing. I would have criticised myself. You're always trying to push yourself. I was, anyway. That's why I used to keep changing my flights, my darts, my shoes. We were big in. This is another one I used to do because it was red art. Used to put a bottle of water into the freezer, and then when I come off stage at half time, I used to put my veins against me, me wrists against the water to cool my blood down. You've got to keep thinking of ways of trying to improve yourself. Where the players were all sweating and all red hot and getting, you know, the energy was sapping, I was getting there. 2013, the final against AD. You've won 18 13, and you've averaged 111 in yeah. the final. I always seem to play well against Adrian for some reason or other. I think we both relaxed. I mean, me, me and him have had some of the best games ever on TV, in my opinion. Can you remember your bullseye against James Wade? Yes, I do remember that. 1-3-2. And it wasn't such a hard a shot as you think. It looks it, it looks it, and it is a good shot, but it isn't the hardest shot in the world, trust me, because if your first dart lies proper, and it, you, you can use that as a deflection. But, yeah, it was a good finish. It was a good finish to win it. 2017. The last hurrah, I suppose. Yes. What can you remember about that year? Gerwin Price first round. So that was a good first tough round. And that's what you need in a tournament. But I, I had a tough run that year. You know, tough, tough um, lineup. It was good. And then obviously we called him Sid. I called him Psychedelic Sid. But I remember saying to Peter, "I hey, Peter, so my name's not Peter." It's Sid. <laughs> but he let me do, he let me have the walk on, which was very nice of him. And he was a bit upset, to be honest with you. He was a bit emotional. I think he was, he, he was a bit thinking that I was retiring. And how did that feel to have the whole Winter Gardens on wanting you amazing. to win that Absolutely whole week? Absolutely amazing. You feel like Robbie Williams on stage. It's, okay. it's brilliant. So it was a good, good send-off for my career, really. You know what I mean? That was my, my favourite one. I, I wanted to win that again, if I could. And it was just the, uh, the final icing on the cake for me, that was. It was lovely.